Hey guys, super quick. So it's a Sunday, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and we have a dinner party to go to tonight. And so I wanted to create a sweet potato pie that I had found while I was in Switzerland. I've never been able to find the exact recipe or anything that looks exactly like it. So I've decided I'm gonna recreate it and twist together about three different dishes that I've done throughout the years. So I'm gonna share with you this magnificent creation and I will upload the recipe with this video. So right here, <clears throat> you can see the basis I made a crumbed tart mixture. So this is just almonds that I blitzed down myself. Blitzed them down, threw in some vanilla. I'm going to add in the ingredients for you, but I mixed it with almond meal and some coconut flour and made the base. I'll send the recipe to you guys. Then the top here is just some steamed sweet potato mashed with some orange zest, orange rind, uh, sorry, orange zest, orange juice and some coconut cream with the sweet potato and some eggs. I'm going to share that recipe part with you guys at the end. And I've toasted off these pecans. So it's a mixture of like a sweet potato, uh, an American style sweet potato pie and also like a pecan pie. On top of this, I'm actually going to be making the next layer, once I've baked this bit, is going to be a tofu lemon cheese layer and then it's all going to be topped with a meringue. Okay, so I just had the pie sitting in the oven with the sweet potato and pecan layer for about five minutes while I whipped up the tofu, lemon and coconut cream, I baked like a cheesecake top. So I'm going to let that bake nice and low now for about an hour, half an hour to an hour. I'm actually going to cover them in alfoil and let them finish baking. So here you have it my friends, this is the end product at a beautiful dinner party we had straight afterwards. As you can see the pecans were um, upright and they have the different layers here in the pictures and it was just such a beautiful combination. We did get extra naughty and we did happen to put Baileys on top of this and just a little bit of ice cream for those that could have dairy. Totally up to you my darlings, I look forward to you experimenting and playing with this and uh, popping up your creations, make sure you hashtag or at uh, Delanata Chef or Shana X Lee. Thanks guys.